Yo, what is up, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad? Is everyone doing well? I certainly hope so. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Today's video, we're going to be combining two Skullgrins together. Pow, pow. And the original inspiration for this was actually the Basilisk, Basilisk tank that was created by Basilisk of... I just can't say his name right. Basilisk of TFW 2005. And he had actually created this kind of like Voltron Doom tank looking thing with the face of Skullgren on the front of the tank. And I wanted to kind of endeavor um, and, and try another version of that, especially with some techniques that I learned from Timbo Rice and also from Pre Pre Pisan, one of the master builders whom I follow on Twitter. And so we're going to start with one of the Skullgrins and we're just going to put him in his um, alt mode. We're going to remove the toppers, um, the little pew pew and the little tail bit. This is a phenomenal piece, by the way. Um, and then what we're going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to open up the chest and we're going to leave it like this. Okay. This is actually going to become the front of the tank and uh, we'll see it all come together later. Um, I was going to say, I tried doing this build with Skullgrin and um, the, um, the, what is it? The Cybertronian Trooper, you know, the green one, uh, the minion to uh, G-Haxis, and it doesn't quite work out. They molded the chest differently, and as a result, you don't get the same clearance that you do with this particular dude. And so, um, yeah, we're going to have to get a little creative. I'm trying to remember how I did this, but I think, I mean, we may freestyle a little bit here, but I believe I just did that. I just rotated the head around, and um, I believe I have the arms like this. I think I rotated the waist because ultimately what we're trying to do is we're trying to give clearance to this port and this peg because it's going to sandwich into this port and this peg. And I believe I swung the legs around. Skullgren, by the way, super duper underrated in terms of being a build former. Doesn't get the proper recognition and probably it's because he's not designed to be a build former. Um, and a build former, I, I, you know what? I wish there was a proper term. Um, a canon term that 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 Hasbro had basically uh, for these types of bots that have this type of gimmick. Some people call them parts formers, um, but I don't know. I like the moniker build former um, because they're just not about parts. I think of more parts formers is like a transformer that has to come apart in order to transform it. That's how I define a parts former. But a build former, I feel like, is a toy that was specifically designed with a building gimmick uh, in mind whether that be a fossilizer, a weaponizer. Uh, you see what I did, by the way? I'm all like deconstructing the legs in terms of opening them up because what we're really trying to do is create these additional appendages over here that we can latch the additional pew pews on top of. Um, and, uh, you know, at this point, you can you, you can start getting, uh, what is it? <laughs> Let's say you can start getting jiggy with it. You can start getting a creative with it. <laughs> then after you've done that, um, you're just putting them together here. See that? See that? Now you got this gnarly looking tank facing the front. He has tons of armaments. You see this? You see this? What, what, what's the term that folks use? Um, biblical mode or, or something? I think that's hilarious, by the way. Uh, hilariously cool. And then we can pop these underneath the arms. Or if you want, you can actually extend the fist. And then you can have it sit somewhere like that as well to be the front if you want. Completely up to you, boo. But for me, I'm just going to have this rest under the arm, Tarn. Does Tarn mean anything? I've always heard like, what in Tarnation? But and not in that voice specifically, but maybe in my head it's just like that. But yeah, I wonder if Tarn, I know there's Tarnish, um, but beyond that, I'm not really sure. So, okay, that's really about it. Dude, isn't that rad? Isn't that rad? I think so, I think so. And if you don't think so, that's okay. <laughs> that's completely okay. Um, 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 and then these pieces, I think I just added them over here. Something like that. I mean, you could really put them wherever, but okay. That is it. He's all shy. Oh. <laughs> but dude, look, 
Look, look, look, look, look, look, look. Míralo, míralo, míralo. Nice, huh? Nice, nice. So yeah, that's the double Skullgrin tank mode, a la Doom Tank from Voltron. Um, but it, I think this is a phenomenal mode, and I'm sure more can be done with this perhaps, but um, I don't know. In my book, this is pretty good as is. So if you do happen to have two Skullgrins, and uh, I, I've, been, I've been seeing them on clearance too. Um, and if you do find them, dude, I would say pick them up. Yeah, there's loads of fun. You can compress the legs, add some of the Dinobots to them. Uh, the Skullgrin is a really great host to the um, the new Junkions um, and a variety of other things. But I think it's bad. I was about to say, I think it's bad Astro Train. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, I'm going to bounce right now, okay? Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.